Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, we are going to go over sharing calendars. Now, this is something that you can now do right from iOS 6 and it's a pretty cool way if you want to share specific calendar schedules with people, if you want to share shopping lists. I mean, it works to share a lot of things because you can actually add notes within any specific calendar event and I'll show you that in a second here. So let me show you how to set up a shared calendar with somebody. First, you want to launch your calendar app and then in the top left corner here you have a calendars button if you tap on that it'll bring up a list of all of your different calendars here and you can check them to show them within your calendar or you can uncheck them to hide certain calendars now what I'm about to show you does work best if you're using the iCloud calendar so keep that in mind but what you want to do to create a shared calendar is in the, the calendar screen here go ahead and tap on the blue arrow next to a specific calendar you'd like to share so we're gonna share home. Now, right here you see shared with, and we can add a person to that. So if we add a person here, you just go ahead and type in a contact name or email. For this, we are going to type in iOS advice. And now that we have that punched in there, let's go ahead and tap on add. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna send a notification and an invitation over to this device right here, informing the person, or well, me in this case, that a calendar is being shared with the device. And also you can always go into this here where it says pending, and you can resend the sharing invitation just like that. Now the other person will definitely receive an email letting them know that they have a shared calendar. And what's great about iCloud is you'll have this little notification if it's being shared with an iCloud calendar that will inform them that you are sending them an invitation to share a calendar. So we can go ahead and view this invitation now. And down here in the bottom corner, you have a little invitations button. If we tap on that, you can see that Dominic Esposito invited you to a shared calendar. And we can tap on join calendar here. So now we have joined the calendar and it'll let you know on your device that it says iOS advice joined your shared calendar. So it works pretty great like that and if we tap on calendars on the other device here you can see that that pulls up now. Home shared by Dominic Esposito and let's go ahead and tap on done. But what's nice about this is if you're sharing a calendar with somebody you can add an event here let's say for Saturday and we'll call it shopping. So we have a shopping event added here and we can go down to the notes and we can add different groceries like we'll add eggs and we'll add grapes. Now the one thing you do want to do though is make sure that the correct calendar is set here. I have my default calendar set as a Gmail calendar so you want to go in here and set the shared calendar. And then when you tap on done, it's gonna go ahead and show up on your other friends or relatives device over here. And they're gonna have that date available on their calendar. They're going to be able to look at the event and they're gonna be able to see the notes that you put in there. So as you can see, it just popped up. Shopping added to home by Dominic Esposito. Tap on view here. We can go in there and view it. Notes, eggs, grapes, and you can add new events to the shared calendar simply by tapping and holding on the date or tapping on that plus sign in the top corner. Now, if you want to set it so that your default calendar always goes to your shared calendar, you can do that right within the settings. So if we go to our settings app here, we scroll down to mail contacts and calendars. If you go all the way down to calendars here, you can see default calendar and we can set that to be our shared shared calendar. And then if we go back out of there, every time we create a new event now, it will default to that shared calendar. So as you can see here, our calendar is set to home. So that's how you set up shared calendars in iOS 6. I hope this was helpful for everybody. Please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dom and have a great day.